Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I will continue the second part of module 3 of grade 12 business mathematics, solving problems involving decimals. Muli, kung ngayon ka lang napadpad sa aking channel, mag-subscribe ka na. Hit mo na rin ang notification bell para updated ka sa mga susunod pang mga videos. At syempre, para tuloy-tuloy ang iyong pag-aaral. Let's start. Decimal is a number whose whole number part and fractional part is separated by a decimal point. The digits following the decimal point show a value smaller than 1. Examples of decimals are 3 and 65 hundredths or simply say 3.65, 0 0.12, negative 2.08, 254.0087, and 3.1416 and now it's time to solve some sample problems involving decimals number one every passenger of a domestic flight of a certain airline is allowed 25 kilograms of luggage for free however the excess baggage costs 250 per kilogram lino the passenger has 36.3 kilograms of luggage how much extra money will Lino pay for his luggage? In problem number one, it is very evident that for 25 kilos, it is free. Excess equals 250. So, our equation is 36.3 minus 25 times 250 Lino will only pay for the excess to 25 so 36.3 minus 25 is equal to 11.3 times 250 if we will use calculator if we will multiply manual 11.3 times 250 is equivalent to 2,825. Therefore, in problem number 1, 2,825 pesos, this is the extra pay by Lino to his baggage or luggage. Problem number 2, Anton bought 5.4 kilograms of beef and 1.3 kilograms of pork. Leia bought 5.42 kilogram of chicken and 0 0.7 kilogram of pork. Who bought more meat and buy how much? In problem number two, it will simply ask who among Anton and Leia both more meat. So we will uh, simply add what they both so for Anton we have 5.4 plus 1.3 if added we have 7 5 plus 6 is 6.7 for Leia we have 5.47 and 0 0.7 add 0 7 plus 0 is 7 4 plus 1 7 is 11 carry 1 so we have 6. 17. So very obvious that Anton is greater than uh, meat both by Leia. By how much? So what shall we do is simply subtract. 6.7, 6.17 as 0. Oh, Baro 1, it will become 10, it will become 6. 10 minus 7 is 3. 6 minus 1 is 5. So, therefore, we can say that Anton bought 0 0.53 kilos than Leia. For problem number 3, in a grocery store, Johnny is choosing between the two sachets of skim milk. Sachet A with a net content of 450 grams cost 125 pesos. 
while sachet B with a net content of 500 grams cost 140 pesos. If you were Johnny, which sachet will you choose? In problem number 3, we will simply determine which of the two between the relation of price and weight is wise to buy. The first or the second sachet. In the first sachet, we have 125, gra uh, 125 pesos for 450 grams. Is question mark to 140 pesos, it is now, it is 500 grams. Which of the two is wise to buy? So what shall we do is simply divide it by gram. So we have 125 divided by 450 if you will use your calculator or solve manually. So we have 0 0.27777 or simply 2 point, uh, 0 0.0278. 140 divided by 500 equals 0 0.28. So, which is wise to buy? The cheaper one or the higher one? So, the less price per gram. And this is for sachet A. So, therefore, sachet A is cheaper. And sachet A is wise to buy rather than sachet B. Just because this is only 0 0.278 per gram, and this is 0 0.280 per gram. Next problem. There are 450 mangoes in a big basket or kain. If each mango weighs 0 0.68 kilogram, what is the total weight of mangoes in a basket? In number 4, the kain or basket or big basket has 450 mangoes with averagely 0 0.68 kilogram each mango so determine the total kilos what shall we do is simply multiply so if we will multiply 450 times a 0 0.68 so we have 450 0 0.68 40 carry 4 32 36, 6 times 0 is 0, 6 times 5 is 30, carry 3, 6 times 4 is 24, plus 3 is 27. So we have 0, 6, 0, carry 1. So we have 1, 2, 1, 2, so we have 306 kilos of mangoes in all question number two for problem number four how much money if the mangoes will be sold at 105 pesos per kilo in 4b if 306 kilos will be sold or at 105 kilos each so what shall we do is simply multiply so the answer is 32 1130 pesos and this is the total money for mangoes at 105 per kilo last problem for this video number five on jupiter objects weigh 2.46 times as they weigh on earth assuming how much would 64 kilos man weigh on Jupiter? Assuming on Jupiter, we have 2.46 times the weight of the man, which is 64. So 2.46 times 64, 24, carry 2, 4 times 4 is 18, carry 1, 4 times 2 is 8, 9. 6 times 6, 36, carry 3, 6 times 4, 24, 27, carry 2. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14. So 4, 14, carry 1, 17, carry 1, 5. 1, 2, 1, 2. So therefore, in Jupiter, the man 64 kilos will become 
44 kilos. Ibig sabihin, kung ako pala makakarating doon, bigla akong tataba. Muli po, kung nakatulong at nagustuhan ang video na to, please like. At kung gusto nating makatulong din sa iba, please share. Thank you.